All right, what you see here is a new fan I got at Habitat Restore. This is a Hampton Bay Landmark 3 Plus ceiling fan in the 42 inch size. I got this because one, it was in really good shape. Two, it's a very early one. And three, it's actually one that's not made by SMC. As you can tell by the motor, it has the air vents on it, which is something you would not see on an SMC fan. Or a motor, more specifically. But the bottom vents on that motor is definitely something that you don't see on SMC. So that's... So honestly, that was the main reason why I got this. If it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. But the fan's also in really good shape for its age. So, um, yeah, the fan is actually from 2000. So it's like literally one of the first Landmark 3s that was ever made. We got this at the restore that We Fire 88 volunteers at. And they were actually having a sale on fans that day, so I got it even cheaper than the price they had it, had it listed for. But, um, yeah, the, I remember back in 2013 at the old apartment, there was, I was considering getting one of these brand new to put up in the kitchen at that, in the old apartment. But under, well, that ended up not happening. I ended up going with the Hampton Bay Clarkston and then that ended up not happening. It ended up getting installed at my grandmother's house. And then when I was going to put up the Antique Brass Wessing House Petite, but then we moved out of the apartment. But, um, yeah, definitely, these are pretty big childhood fans for me. I do remember seeing these a lot as a kid. And um, the reason why I was thinking about getting one of these for the kitchen is because since I had the Hanson Bay Glendale in the bedroom at the time, I figured it would be kind of cool to have a mini version of it in the kitchen, but also look a little bit different. No, honestly, if they did sell this at the time in 52 inches, when I got the Glendale, I probably would have went for that instead of the Glendale. Or the, um, if they had the Hampton Bay Brookhurst at the time, that came out a little bit after I got it, I would have went with that instead. But, um, the Glendale definitely did me good for me when I was using it there. I mean, I do still have it, I just need to get it back out for a test video, but, um, and I still need to test the 52 inch one of this that I have new in the box. But I am glad to have an early or mini version of it. And they did sell these for quite some time. The white ones and the antique brass ones were discontinued a little bit earlier. I mean, I, I know they still sell the polished brass one, but I'm, I am surprised that they actually discontinued this one and didn't just make it an online exclusive like the polished brass one. But yeah, these basically got discontinued around the time that the 42-inch Handle Bay Glendale came out. So, that it. I mean, they sold these for a good 13 years, so they are pretty common, so they aren't really a hard fan to find. But to find one that's this early, and it's lifespan of when they made them, it's very uncommon. The blades are a tiny bit yellowed, but I feel like that's more so due to age than anything. Reverse side is bleached oak. It doesn't have the attachment pole fobs, but I have spare ones that I can put on it when I do get around to testing it. It does have this tiny shorter download that they used to came, come with um, Hampton Bay fans back in the day. And here's the UL information. So, but um, yeah, I have no clue who makes this. I originally thought it was Ericle, but apparently it isn't. And as you can see, 0901 so technically it's from 2001 but it's actually even older than that because it has another UL sticker that I'll show you guys in a moment that has an earlier date 
052M, which is usually what they would do for many fans that were made in the year 2000. So this is basically one of the earliest versions of the Waymark 3 and such. So, um, yeah, and something I definitely want to do is, since I have this one, is test this and also test to retest my handmade one down 42 inches and see which one actually performs better because since this one's in a really good shape and it's also a non smc one and it seems to have the same type of motor that the an air cool fan would use you know, and such so definitely i'm curious to see which one performs better but um yeah that'll be it for this video thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos to come